Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Myers back here with another video for y'all. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my main touring pedal board. I use this thing for gigging. I use it for literally everything that I do here in Nashville as a professional musician. But before I go on with this video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. You know, I absolutely love hearing from y'all. And also, I am so proud to announce that I'm offering one-on-one -on -one private Zoom lessons. This has just been an amazing thing. I have students from all over the world that are joining up here. And, uh, you know, people have been telling me that these are the best guitar lessons they've ever had in their entire life. So if you yourself would like to join up, hit me up at jkm4231 at gmail.com for some more information. That's going to be linked down below in the description box as well. The email is jkm4231 at gmail.com. Just to quickly give you all some information on it here, um, you will receive the video and audio copy at the end of each lesson. So you could always go back to it. You could always reference it. You could always, you know, check it out. And, you know, if you may have forgotten a little something that I mentioned throughout a lesson, you could always go back to the video and rewatch it and listen back. And uh, it's just an amazing platform. It works really well. And this camera here that I use here on YouTube and everything that you see here, all the lights, everything, it is exactly the same high quality professional video and audio within these lessons. So again, if that's something you're interested in, hit me up at jkm4231 at gmail.com. And if you'd like to support the channel in another way, I have a Venmo and PayPal tip jar linked down below as well. Thank you. Now on with this video here. So I'm going to share with you all a close up of the actual pedal board, but I figured that I would just kind of talk my way through and how I use some of this stuff and kind of just make a, some general pointers. Um, the main gain stage that I use is I use the Nobles ODR-1. This is an original Ram Nobles. And basically my whole thought process with using gain pedals is I like to slight the slightly and slowly elevate the level of gain that I'm playing with. So the Nobles is normally the pedal that I'll use as my main source of gain. And then you'll see here a close up of the pedal board and exactly how I have everything set up. But I like to elevate the level of gain, like I said. So I'll take the exotic RC booster and run it previously before the Nobles ODR one to give me a little bit more gain and to cut some of the bass out and add a little bit of top end and just add a little bit of gain. It just feels good under the fingers. And then from there, I have a Boss GE7 EQ pedal that I always like to have an EQ pedal on any pedal board I use because it just really helps with adding mid-range. If you need to adjust for the guitar that you're playing with, you could cut some low end, you could add low end, you could cut high end, you know, whatever. It's just so versatile. There's so many ways. That it, an EQ just is so important for a guitar player. You can use it in so many ways. So an EQ pedal is a must have on any pedal board. Now, another thing that I'll mention is I like to have two different gain stages. Now, I never use these gain stages together or stacked. It's either one or the other. And so what I like is, as I was saying, I use the Nobles as my main gain stage, but then I also have an Analog Man King of Tone pedal that I use because it's a completely different EQ than the Nobles. And it's also much more gain on tap as well because there's two sides that you can use together or one or the other. And so that's why I like to have two different gain stages on any pedal board that I use because I like how the Nobles has this low end thing that's a uh, light gain thing that um, it, it literally works in about 90 to 95% of all situations. Um, but it is nice for the time that I need something a little more mid-rangey or something a little bit brighter, something with just a little bit more gain that's just a completely different EQ and different gain stage. Um, I like to use that king of tone. So on any pedal board, I normally try to have two different gain stages. But anyways, I just wanted to make these quick little pointers. Let's go ahead and share y'all, show y'all a close up of the pedal board itself. All right, guys, so here's the close up of the pedal board that I use here. This is just an amazing pedal board and I can get everything done with this rig, man. There is just nothing this thing cannot do. So we're gonna go ahead and first start off with the Peterson tuner. That's the Strobo Stomp HD tuner. I absolutely love that thing. It's a strobe tuner, the most accurate tuner that is available in my opinion. So I plug up into that, goes out of there into the Cali 76 compressor. I normally like to use that whenever I'm playing clean. 
And um, if I'm playing with my fingers, I like to just use it to, to just accentuate the little nuances that I can get with my fingers and just to even out everything. So I use that, then out of there into a 70s strip phase 90. And I like to use a phase pre-drive. So this is pre-drive and these 70s strip phase 90s just sound incredible. Down to the RC booster here. So this is before my gain stages, as I was telling you all in the previous clip. There is my Ram Nobles. And this is exactly how I had this stuff set up too for the intro clip, by the way. So I just used the Nobles there for the intro clip. Coming out of there into the Analog Band King of Tone. Out of there into the Boss GE7, you'll see there that I have the 800 and the 1.6K band boosted slightly. I like to use it as a solo boost to add mid-range. And, uh, but there's a million ways you can use an EQ. Very versatile. Come out of there into a Strymon Flint. This is a really wonderful pedal. This is a reverb and trem. And the trem is just phen phenomenal on this thing. And I'm going stereo out of that into the GHV3 modded M9. And I just love how flexible this thing is. You know, it's really, um, it has every effect you can imagine in this thing. And it's just so nice to be able to reprogram this thing to do whatever the hell you want. And you don't have to add pedals or, you know, take pedals off or rip apart a pedal board or whatever. And the sounds in this thing are just amazing. So this is all mounted on a Pedal Train Classic 1. And then I have a True Tone CS12 that's mounted underneath the pedal board there. So very simple rig. And um, it just really is effective and gets the job done. And then I was plugged up into my 68 base spec Marshall JMP here. Um, it's a base spec Plexi. Really sounds amazing. Um, and uh, just beautiful cleans on this thing. You would never even want to play a Fender after playing this thing. It's just amazing. So really great amp. And um, just had that going into a Bogner 212 with uh, old 65s so from the 80s. But anyway, so that is the entire rig, and that's what I was using in that intro clip. And here is the pedal board that I use for 90 to 95% of everything I do professionally here in Nashville. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. Be sure to, to subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment down below. And again, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons, hit me up at jkm4231 at gmail.com. Thank you all so much. Love y'all.